All right, now one more question before we let you go, because uh, I, I know that you were in the uh, the new Nickelback video. Yes, that was cute. <laughs> uh, so you, we've been talking about uh, exposing the next generation to the shooting sports. I'm I'm curious. Uh, I, I, there've got to be other professional rock musicians out there that are pro hunting, that are pro Second Amendment. Do you are you as evangelical to your uh, your, your fellow musicians? Uh, about the Second Amendment as you are Absolutely. to everybody else. In fact, uh, uh, yes, I've always been militantly anti-substance abuse, militantly. I've scolded and, and borderline pummeled many of those gifted musicians who I admire and have been privileged to jam with and collaborate with for since the 1960s. Um, those that didn't adhere to the Uncle Ted uh, clean and sober upgrade are either dead or drooling as we speak, literally, uh, the, the, the only difference between Kurt Cobain's quail gun and mine is I use mine on quail. Um, <laughs> that's it. I just, right. just, I don't know how more emphatic one can get. Um, it, yes, the, the, the shooting sports is extremely contagious to a person who's looking for that higher level of awareness. And we all love to shoot if it's just, even if it's just for fun instead of competitively or for that discipline of the next X ring. But guys like uh, Steven Tyler from Aerosmith, who has uh, finally gotten clean and sober uh, numerous years ago, mm-hmm. uh, he and his uh, guitar player, world-class musicians, uh, world-class rock and roll stars, uh, Joe Perry, they're both uh, uh, class three enthusiasts, and they spend a lot of time collecting guns, shooting guns, um, training their children with firearms. Uh, Sammy Hager, who is a great friend of mine, uh, he's a gun enthusiast. Eddie Van Halen, who is uh, clean and sober, I'm Hoping still today on Monday. Um, uh, he is a gun enthusiast. Uh, the guys in ZZ Top are gun enthusiasts. Yeah, the guys great. in Cheap Trick are gun enthusiasts. My only problem, and I keep hammering those guys, is I don't want you just to admit you believe in the Second Amendment. Get out there. Try to do like I do. Initiate the dialogue. Explain, and I know this to be true, that the discipline and the joys of shooting literally finds its way into the creation of fun music, fun guitar licks, fun jam sessions. I keep prodding these guys from a culture war perspective that they need to not just admit, but celebrate and promote their gun rights. But at the same time, I'm prodding them to be more enthusiastic. Their management are constantly telling them to shut up about that because it's politically incorrect. And maybe somebody from Rolling Stone won't do an album review. I mean, it really is that Mm -hmm. stupid. Because remember, Rolling Stone magazine, how about this? The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is dictated and controlled by Jan Wenner, who is the number one money source for Sarah Brady's outfit. Now, what do you think the chances are of Ted Nugent on the board of directors of the NRA ever getting downwind of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? (laughs) Which, by the way, since Grandmaster Flash is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I don't want to have anything to do with it because that ain't rock and roll. Um, (laughs) So those people have no soul. Um, For the most part, many in determining and in decision-making positions in the entertainment industry have no soul. They're they're maniacally anti-gun, maniacally anti-hunting. Um, I cause them much anguish uh, because I can. I'm on the major media all the time because I'm able to articulate the stand, not my stand, right. my Second Amendment, just the stand, the truth, the self-evident truth that it's a God-given right. And so, even though it drives them batty, because I bring. I don't know how after all these years and all these disfiguring conditions, uh, I still bring them ratings because I bring a a certain buoyancy, dare I say, to the debate, even though there's no debate. Uh, But I try to prod the other rockers. I try to get them to, and like Hank, Hank Williams Jr., Mm. he lives for his shooting sports. He will admit it, and he will celebrate it to some degree. But I don't see him on Hannity and Combs or Glenn Beck um, what I consider to be our duty, if we have access to a bully pulpit, I don't want you to just admit it and comment. I want you to raise some hell. Yeah. And I want you to identify that the shooting. That's why shoot- we like you, because you're good. I'm a hell raising baby. <laughs> like I'm, I'm, I'm. How demonstrative do we need to get? Again, in Tinley Park, Illinois, if you want dead innocent Americans, a gun-free zone is how you do it. No one is allowed to carry a firearm in Illinois, and we have more, five more dead innocent citizens because a gun-free zone 
is Illinois. And I find it putrid, anti-American, and we don't need to discuss this. We need to raise hell and spotlight the indecency of an anti-gun agenda, particularly as dem demonstrated in a gun-free zone. So that's my agenda, and uh, I'm on uh, fire. Well, Ted Nugent, we're glad that you could be with us. I know thanks, you got a sound check to Jim. get to, but thanks again for you stopping bet. by and kicking All off right, shot, man. Joe.